I am a program manager here at Southco. In my role, we would have a large variety of projects that we would manage. We would have cross-functional teams allocated to a project. We would then manage the project and the cross-functional teams and then pass it into production. I am from Romania and my previous roles were not in engineering, anything else but that. And when I came to the UK, I kind of fell into an engineering related role. I kind of just worked my way through, learned different skills and everything I could pick from different jobs were very helpful in my program management role. I don't have an engineering degree so I would say for the people that want to do this job it's not a must-have. We would need people skills first of all. We are kind of like the glue of the team. We need to have leadership uh, skills, management. We need to multitask and be very sure of ourselves of what we are doing, be confident in having conversations with the customers. The skills of maintaining and creating relationships is basically what we would need most. Managing and seeing something go through from the beginning to completion, it's that satisfaction of seeing it, yes, I've done it. The role that I've got in the company, being a toolmaker, say if a designer designs a part before it can actually go into production, it's got to be proved. We can create the original prototypes, whether it's made out of plastic, metal, anything basically. We do a lot of stuff on the production side of it as well. Repairs and creation of new tools. There's a lot of problem solving. And then just thinking on your feet, in production, if something breaks, they want it back now. I started at college. I did a level three in engineering. Southco actually came into the college and met us and said, right, we've got apprenticeships. So I went through the apprenticeship side of it and then finished, became a toolmaker. So I've been six years now. Most people go into toolmaking through apprenticeships and just build their way up. There's only five of us and we just, we all get along and it's just enjoyable to be working. Some people hate their job, but I say I love my job. My title is uh, Injection Moulding Technician. Primarily, I'm here to set up injection mould machines. I'm a senior member of the team, so occasionally I'm asked to take over a supervisor's shift. Skills, communication, uh, always communication. Also, you've got technical skill levels. Could be a first aider, could be a fire warden. There's lots of little things that come off it. The role I do, I never knew existed uh, when I left school. I did work at a facility material handlers position and I sort of enjoyed it. The progression I did, I went through as a, a tool setter. And the next role I got was a, a technician role. It's a, a job which can lead two different ways. There's a leadership sort of side to it and then you've got the more technical side. What I enjoy about my role is that every so often we get new machines come in, new technology, new robots, faster robots, any problems. It's a head scratcher for probably 20 minutes to an hour and then you've fixed it and you've got a nice sense of achievement that you've, you've got somewhere. I'm a rolling set technician so I work on three rolling machines. I know how to set and operate a machinery but it's also having the experience behind it to say well this isn't a problem, what do I have to do to fix this problem and how I go around doing it. You need to have patience. If you haven't got patience, it's not gonna really work out because sometimes you could be staying at a machine for hours on end just trying to figure out an issue. I got into the role through apprenticeship. I was on a three year course for that. Eventually worked my way up. I enjoy the problem solving side of things. I really like coming up to an issue and trying to figure out how to fix that issue. I also like the teamwork. To have a good team where you can have the banter with as well as producing the work that you need to produce, it makes it a really nice place to work. I'm production supervisor on assembly department. I need to set up daily, weekly objectives with my team. I need to provide a really healthy and safe environment for them. I need to coach them, I need to support, find the hidden potential in them to make sure we will deliver 
highest quality of products to customers. Production supervisor requires typical leadership skills, good communication skills, not always everything goes perfect and something can happen so I need to resolve the problem. We're actually working with different departments to make sure the product will be delivered outside to the customer. I started working at Southco as an assembly operator. I was just thinking I wanted something else, I wanted to learn more things. When we had open position for production team leader, I did apply for this job and I got that. The managers, they knew I know production process and also the leadership skills. And I've been promoted again. Since two years, I'm production supervisor. Always try to push myself higher and higher. I have a lot of challenges and that's actually giving me really big satisfaction. Yeah. My role as assembly operator is to build the product. We need to make sure that our client receives the parts with 100% satisfied. If anything is wrong, any issue, I need to highlight it to my supervisor or team leader. The key skill for my role, focus what I'm doing and focus of the quality to finish with the high standard. I started working in Southco through the agency. I got level two of diploma manufacturing operation. I became the senior operator and I am able to train new starters. I got training in new project development is giving a lot of challenges and a lot of skills. I like work with the team, but also I'm glad I got a chance to be independent. But the most, I like to um, develop it myself and to produce the parts like really good standard. Quality is flowing through the whole company. Well, my role is very people oriented. It's based really on very good communication skills and teamwork. So mainly my role is to define what monitoring we need to put in place to make sure that this good always is good, prevent uh, mistakes happening before they even happen. Sometimes uh, it's not the case and mistakes happen. And then I help to find the solutions to the problems. There is no degree for quality engineering. I'm master engineer in oil and gas technology. So it's completely different to manufacturing what we're doing right now here. I got my first job only because I could speak French. So it's not only the engineering, but as well some additional skills I have. And there are different options like apprenticeship. The students, they can start as a quality apprentice, have um, like development into the quality technician. Then when they want to progress further through the further education, they can become a quality engineer. As quality engineer, I have contacts with uh, people around the world, people in China, in Japan. I work with people in the US. I speak constantly with many different people, so that's what I enjoy the most. Maintenance engineering is basically we look after all the equipment on site. Key to that is making sure we have no breakdowns or prolonged downtime. We also look after buildings facilities as well to make sure the buildings are working as they should. Got to be able to talk to all levels of employees from operators on the shop floor right through to directors because everybody needs to know what's going on. A good logical approach to problem solving. It's always good to have a good electrical and mechanical grounding in, in the work that you do. Various different pathways. You could go through the advanced apprenticeship, so take A levels at school, then you go on to an apprenticeship. You could also go through to the university, re qualify with an HND or an HNC. Personally, I was lucky enough for the company I used to work for, um, it was a car manufacturing company, and they put me forward for a, what they call a late life apprenticeship. So I didn't do my apprenticeship until I was 40. One minute you could be up to your elbows in grease and oil, the next minute you could be programming um, a process logic controller or a robot. No two days are the same to be fair, so it's, that's what keeps me motivated to come in every day.